What is up guys, Sky here again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload an image and make it a clickable link. Now, I wanna preface this by saying that we are gonna be doing a very tiny bit of actual coding in this one, and I don't want you to be intimidated by it because it's, it's not really very complicated, and once you see what you have to input into the code to make this work, um, it's the kind of thing that you can copy and paste somewhere and always have it to just put it in. So you don't really need to know how to do it, just what to put in. And I'll paste it on the screen if you want to pause it and, uh, like I said, put it into a separate Word document or something. That's not a terrible idea. So uh, to get started here, we're obviously going to want to be on our course homepage. And the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have an image that we want to use as well as a place for it to go. So I have uh, created this announcement right here uh, just as a placeholder. So that's what we're going to do. So what you're going to want to do first is go to um, the announcement or the piece of content or whatever it is and click edit because we want to bring up our HTML editor, which looks like this. So the first thing that you want to do is upload the image. And so there is different ways that you can do this. If you want to upload it to the locker or if you even want to write the code in, you can do that. But I think uh, simple is, e is the best here, and so we're just going to upload it from our computer. So we're going to click on that, and if you like to drag and drop, you can. I prefer to upload directly so I know where it is, and I'm going to click my Lesson 1 button. And just uh, another side note here, uh, in instructional design, using an image that you click to take you somewhere else is typically called a button. So if you hear me refer to it as a button instead of a link, it's the same thing. Uh, but so I have my image uploaded and I'm going to click add. Now it's going to ask us for alternative text. What this is basically wanting us to do is if the image can't load for whatever reason on somebody's screen or if they're using accessibility options and they have a, uh, a screen reader that reads them actual text, this is what they're going to be, that's what they're going to hear or if they can't see the image, it won't load, this is the, the text that's going to pop up. So we're just going to call this lesson one link and click OK. And there we can see we have our image uploaded. I'm going to get rid of my uh, placeholder text. And so the next thing that we're going to want to do is make sure we know where we want this link to go. And we're going to copy and paste the, the actual URL to that. So I want this to go to lesson one. So I've created this lesson one here in my content section. And up at the top here, we have the link. So we're going to want to copy that because we're going to paste it here in a minute. And so once we have that copied, we'll go back here, and we're going to go down to the bottom right to where you see these little bracket type things here, and we're going to click on those, HTML source editor. And that's going to bring up our code. Now, this obviously looks pretty um, complicated here, even though there's not very much of it. But all we're going to do is insert where we want the link to be. So here where it says uh, the P in the brackets here, we're going to click right in between that and this one that says IMG source. This is referring to the image, by the way. And we're going to create another little open bracket, and we're going to put an A. That A stands for anchor. This is an anchor element. After that, we're going to put href. This is basically us telling the uh, computer we're about to give it a link. href equals, and we're going to do open quotes. And once we have our open quotes there, we are going to copy and paste our link into the uh, source code here. And then we're going to use the close quotes. And then at that point, all we're going to do is use a close bracket. And that's really all that you have to do. The D2L HTML editor is actually really good about taking what we put into it, as are most HTML editors, and understanding what we want to do and fixing any mistakes we make. But this is the basic thing that we have to put in. So we're going to click Save. And now we have what we want in there. Even though on the surface it doesn't appear that anything's different, we're going to click Update. And what we'll do is we'll go back to our course home and test if this works. So now we can see we have our button here that says click here for lesson one. And if we mouse over it, we get the little uh, hand that looks like we're about to click on a link. So let's go ahead and click on that. And voila, it takes us right to lesson one. There's other ways that you can edit this to, you know, customize even more. We might get into that in later videos, but for right now, you are now able to upload an image and make it a clickable link. As always, if you have any questions or any concerns, or if for whatever reason this isn't working, you can always email us at onlinehelp at okcu.edu.
edu.